A, B, 30. So the, we are done Hamlet and I hope you enjoyed it and we're going to take up Act 5 and then complete that and move on to Animal Farm. So let's get into an, Act 5. Right there. All right. So um, Act 5, the rest is silence. Hamlet and Horatio enter a graveyard where two gra grave diggers are preparing a grave for Ophelia. Now, during this time, the grave diggers are uh, debating whether or not Ophelia uh, deserves uh, a Christian burial. And um, so they're debating that before Hamlet and Horatio arrive. Um, once they uh, arrive, then uh, Hamlet notices that there's a group of people coming towards the cemetery so they hide and uh, they, he realizes that it's a funeral for Ophelia um, albeit it's confirmed by Larides as Larides is, is asking for more uh, or what else can be done for Ophelia and even the priest is questioning uh, whether or not Ophelia should be receiving as much as she has and if it wasn't for her status in uh, the court, uh, she probably wouldn't have had that that uh, service of sorts. Uh, so Larity's uh, obvious uh, distraught behavior, he jumps into the grave and wants to hold Ophelia one more time. Hamlet de declares uh, that he is here, that he loves Ophelia. Of course, everything that he's done up to this point Nobody uh, believes him. Laertes attacks Hamlet, and uh, Claudius sees this as an opportunity to use Laertes to finally rid ha himself of Hamlet. Um, but that will come in. Um, they've already had that discussion uh, in Act 4, Scene 7, um, and did they come up with the two plans? Uh, Poison by sword, so it would be an unbated sword in a duel. And the second plan, if the sword doesn't work, the poison sword doesn't work, uh, it will be a poison cup. Okay? So, um, Claudius has to remind Laertes, remember our conversation, remember you will get your vengeance in the duel. Um, so just just hold off for a bit here. So that's the end of um, scene one. Now there's a bit of foreshadowing in the scene. Uh, Hamlet does say he will be joining Ophelia soon. Now how soon we don't know. Um, we have to wait till scene two to figure out what's going on there. So that's scene one. Scene two um, the first part, actually, Act 5 should be three scenes, because uh, the first part is just uh, reca recapping how Hamlet got back to Denmark. Uh, he couldn't go into full detail in the letter that he sent to uh, Horatio in Act 4, um, but, but he does uh, explain a little more detail of what took place. Um, now, there, he found, that, found a letter uh, that was uh, written to the King of England, stating that Hamlet would be killed upon arrival. Uh, Hamlet takes the letter, forges a new one, uh, uses the signet uh, on his ring, which would make the seal official, uh, because it's a royal seal, and uh, then re replace it, replace the forgery, um, but in in the hands of whoever had the letter, and. He just changes Hamlet to Rosencrantz and Guildenstern. Spoiler alert. Okay, so um, Rosencrantz and Guildenstern should have left a long time ago, but they didn't. And uh, unfortunately, that leads to their tragic demise. Um, then Osric comes in, and then they start talking about the duel, about the uh, um, 
the bet that's or the wager that's going to be placed on Hamlet's head. And uh, so once that's done, uh, Horatio warns Hamlet that he's going to lose this, this duel. So a bit of foreshadowing there. Um, once we get into the duel, this would unofficially be scene three, but it's still part of scene two. Uh, we have the duel, and uh, Hamlet starts off with a, an apology, albeit in the third person, because he keeps saying Hamlet does this, Hamlet says this. Um, it's not, uh, you know, the first person, I, um, or me. And he just says, Hamlet this, Hamlet that. And so then the people in the court approve of the apology. Uh, Laertes has to agree with or accept that apology because his reputation's at, at stake. Uh, so he agrees or accepts the apology as an apology, but the duel will solidify his um, reputation. So he has to follow through with this, this, this duel to maintain that reputation in the court. And so then we, they start to, uh, they get their foils. And of course, we already know that one of the, uh, Larry's sword is unbated. Uh, so there's no dull end on the end. Uh, they've taken it off and he, there's a poison tip. Um, now, whether that's done right away, uh, or in the movie's case, they've, they've done it later on, uh, not, not just immediately, um, but uh, we, we just know that one, one of the sorts is poisoned and it has a sharp tip on it. So Hamlet and, and uh, Laertes are, are dueling, and of course it gets very uh, intense, or incensed, I guess would be the better word, and uh, there's every time a point is scored, uh, and, and with dueling, there's they're on a carpet, so they have to stay on the carpet uh, the whole time. Uh, they, and there's points for uh, every hit that they make, and the judge would give the points uh, accordingly. And then uh, when Hamlet continues to mock uh, Laertes, uh, he gets scratched by the sword, and of course, in the, the duel becomes more in, incensed and uh, so they're just that now it's it's an actual fight and uh, so then a scuffle takes place Hamlet gets the sword uh, the poison sword realizes that it's unbaited and um, then Larry just is uh, scratched by the uh, the poison sword so now he's poisoned uh, Gertrude has uh, taken a drink from the, the poison cup and uh, so she uh, dies first then um, uh, then Larry dies um, but before he admits and that Claudius is the perpetrator the one who caused all this and uh, so he's the one to blame for everything and uh, so Laertes asks for Hamlet's uh, forgiveness, and Hamlet says, You've, you don't need to ask. Um, you had it a long time ago, and uh, you know, I, I'm, I, I'm at fault too because I did take your father's life, um, and I will be joining you uh, shortly. And um, so Claudius, uh, Hamlet goes after Claudius, and uh, he's stabbed with the poison sword and, of course, he finishes off the uh, poison drink and so Claudius dies. Horatio uh, wants to join his friend Hamlet, but Hamlet says, no, you, you cannot do this. You need to be the one. You're the only sane one um, in Denmark here. You need to tell the story of what transpired so that this never happens again. And so Hamlet uh, dies, and he finishes it off with his famous line, the rest is silence. And then Fortinbras comes in, and uh, as well as the lord from, uh, uh, or an ambassador, sorry, from England, uh, stating that Rosencrantz and Guildenstern uh, are dead. And Fortinbras uh, wants to hear the story from Horatio, and so, and Horatio is willing to tell it. And then uh, Fortinbras gives Hamlet one last bit of honor 
uh, or an honorable um, uh, gift, I guess, um, by having him leave the court in a death march. And uh, because he, Hamlet was a soldier as well, so uh, out of respect for that duty and uh, to, to the crown and, and to the country, he was given that, that honor. And that's the end of the play. Okay, so uh, if you have any questions, please let me know. And I hope you enjoyed the play just a little bit more than you did before. And until then, the rest is silence. <laughs>